everybody, I'm Beeps Kelly. Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be discussing the rumor that seems pretty well sourced that Harry and Meghan wanted to be king and queen of the Commonwealth. So there has been some reports and some rumors circulating that Harry and Meghan wanted to be on even footing with Catherine and William in some way, shape, or form. They wanted to have potentially the Prince and Princess of Wales title or have some sort of division of the crown or the royal households that was more prominent than what had been done previously for someone in Harry's position. I am inclined to believe that both she and Harry, but particularly Meghan, were interested in this and thought that this would be something that they could do or convince people to do or something that they thought would be realistic in any way, shape, or form, despite how silly it sounds to us. And I think that Megan has clearly shown the ability to manipulate Harry pretty well, so I could imagine her manipulating Harry into thinking, you deserve this, this is what your mother would want, or even, God forbid, saying that this is what Diana is saying you should do. Which, by the way, I think I've said it before, but if your partner's deceased mother is speaking to you, then don't you think you should ask your deceased mother-in-law to speak directly to her child? Or perhaps just stay out of it because that's real serious grounds from the manipulation and emotional toying with your spouse that could easily create a current of mistrust. Personally, I think that that is just simply a manipulation tactic that she is using on Harry and I think it's pretty gross. I think it's really unacceptable and I'm not sure why there's not more people discussing the red flag around her saying that Diana speaks through her to Harry. It's like gatekeeping someone's relative's memory. But anyway, you know, perhaps she was using that as a way to encourage Harry to suggest such a thing. The whole point of the monarchy of the UK is its unity. So of course you wouldn't divide up um, any sort of roles in that major of a way. They already made Harry and Meghan some pretty prominent roles and gave them, gave them different titles. They made a lot of exceptions for Harry and Meghan, and so perhaps that went to Meghan's head too, and she thought she could just start asking for other things or try to climb her way into a more important position to try to get onto even ground with Catherine, Princess of Wales, and Prince William. Who knows? I will say that a lot of the traits Meghan Markle has displayed to the public, a lot of the things she has done and said in her interviews or on her podcast, the way that she seems to conduct herself does seem very egotistic. And a lot of times, ladies like that tend to get very competitive with other females. They are not the types of women that are easy to make friends with and have trust and lasting friendships with, but rather women who maybe make a fast friendship with you, but then are very quickly manipulative and you very quickly find out that they are not to be trusted or the friendship is like a five minute long friendship and it's over and you never really hear from them again because they've decided, well, you're not really, you know, giving me what I want. You're not giving me the, you know, praise that I want or the attention that I want or, you know, anything else that they thought you could offer them that would be of service to their, you know, needs for whatever it is. So I definitely see Megan as one of those who would be very competitive with other women and may have been part of why she was so strange in her clothing choices because she wanted to try to compete with Catherine's clothing and wardrobe. She wanted to try to outspend, it seems, in lots of ways. And she wanted maybe nicer labels, more labels, more revealing things. She wanted to push the boundaries, tried to push boundaries way too early in a situation like that. If you like gain some respect and spend a little time and clearly know your way around a place, then you can start to push some boundaries here and there or maybe change some rules or be more flexible on a couple of things, but not straight out of the gate. Nobody does that and it never, it never works out if they try to. While I can sympathize with Harry struggling with feeling like the spare, it's also one of those things that as you mature, you would kind of 
accept and grow into and carve out your own role because you, as you mature, identify certain things you cannot change. You can't change certain things. They just are what they are and there's no sense in fighting it or being worked up about it or making it stress you out. I think there's a chance that also Harry never really fully grew out of that part of his discontent with life and it's really unfortunate you know sadly people who do struggle with maybe some personality disruptions or mental health issues sometimes they do struggle with processing certain emotional things as well or certain mental things as well and it doesn't make them a bad person sometimes people just have a hard time growing from those spaces or growing out of the you know emotional discontent with regards to a specific issue or problem in their lives or something that happened to them in the past. And I think I see some of that with Harry sometimes that I am inclined at times to understand a little bit of where some of his frustrations come from, but the fact that he acts out in the ways that he does and the choices that he's made, the actions that he takes, kind of erase the feeling sympathy for or understanding towards some of those more understandable challenges that you can recognize at times when somebody maybe is just having a tough go at some sort of issue, um, but it's still never an excuse to behave really poorly. So what do you guys think about the whole king and queen of the commonwealth, I guess, is what they were gunning for? Or if Prince Harry and Meghan Markle got Prince and Princess of Wales Oh boy, what do you guys think about that idea? Do you think there's any validity behind those rumors and those claims that that's what they were going for? Leave it in the comments. I can't wait to hear from you and I will see you in the next video. Everybody, I just wanted to share with you this item that I got in PR that is absolutely stunning. It would make a wonderful gift and it is a very high quality product. It's one of those practical gifts that can be elevated into something that is so beautiful, so quality, and so nice that it becomes a special most favorite gift from someone. This towel is the most luxurious thing. It literally feels like a blanket. I have never felt a towel such as this. The inside is what you would expect from a luxurious high-end towel, but the other side, this decorative side, is so soft. It feels like a baby blanket, and it is so beautiful, and it is a luxury item at a luxury price, yes, but we often spend the same amount, if not more, on family members. Instead, you could just get them this most luxurious towel, even one to share, and it's something that is so much more valuable as a gift than so many other things. We buy people things all the time that we're not sure they're actually gonna like and use. Imagine how much money we actually waste on bad gifts. This is not one of those items. This is something that people can use and cherish for forever. When you buy somebody something that is practical but elevated, it just brings so much more to the value of the gift. It's even big enough to snuggle two people inside. Have a happy day. Bye!